North Africa, as in most desert lands, the hardy date palm still remains a cheap source of food, fuel, and timber. 60 to 80 feet up the bristling trunks, the fruit hangs in giant clusters, some of which weigh 20 pounds and contain 1,000 dates. The rich harvest, dried and exported, is a basis of prosperity for the people of Algeria and Tunisia. After the harvest, dances full of religious fervor proclaim the health-giving fruit as blessed of Allah. NATO's strength in the field is growing steadily. In the shadow of the Alps, commanders of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization watch Operation Ancient Wall, first big-scale maneuvers by NATO's Italian troops. Italy's famous Alpine units are back in action. And in line with NATO policy, many other units are being heavily mechanized. And Italy's new army is mastering the latest tactics along with the latest weapons. In one of many new operations, ground personnel trained to eliminate anti-tank weapons precede the armor. Large-scale combined air and ground operations bring the maneuvers to a close. Italian Defense Minister Pacciardi congratulates the troops on their rapid progress. The Marama area, southwest of Florence, Italy, sees many interested visitors these days. For the pleasant new homes and tilled fields they come to see have been won by a long and courageous effort. Today, a long-standing reclamation project is making renewed progress. Hard work, no novelty in Italy, is still the main ingredient. But it takes modern machinery to redig the canals of 2,000 years ago. The modern bulldozer operator is watched with interest by Marema's traditional cowboys, known locally as buteri. The new farm families being settled on the new land seed it without delay, for every acre of fertile land is needed in heavily populated Italy. The burning brush of the Maremma's retreating swamps highlights one of the big achievements of Italy's remarkable post-war comeback. Stockholm, admired all over the world for its architecture, has another achievement to show the world's big cities. Grundal, a rundown suburb considered by Swedes the chief blot on their capital, has been completely rebuilt. Gloomy, dilapidated houses have gone, and the most modern buildings Sweden's architects could produce have taken their place. In the center of the project is Galunen, an 11-story theater and concert hall designed to serve the whole area. A community designed with an eye for beauty has appealed for many artists. Here, the artist Otto Schuld finds the fresh and modern atmosphere well suited to his work. Responsible for this transformation is a former builder, Ole Engfist, who bought the land and interested architects in the project. Stockholm has set a high standard in dealing with a problem that faces nearly every big city.
Elizondo, high among the hills of the Spanish province of Navarre, has a favorite sport called ice colans, which might stump even North America's boastful Paul Bunyan. To win at this alarming form of log cutting, all you have to do is to chop through eight tough beech logs, each 54 inches thick, faster than anybody else. You are allowed an assistant to clean out the cut, but your feet look out for themselves. Contestants are advised to have eyes as sharp as their axes. The Basques love to gamble and the local champion gets lots of support against a visiting rival. After a close match, the visitor wins, having chopped his way through 36 feet of solid wood in a record 26 minutes. Wooden shoes, called klompen in Dutch, are still popular in modern Holland. Bridge keepers collect tolls in them. Youngsters find they make wonderful boats. And at Christmas time, they substitute for stockings. And of course, they're still used for walking. To stimulate interest in wooden shoes, the industry has an annual exhibition which shows the traditional footgear to be more versatile than one might think. For example, you can get any size in a wooden shoe, no matter how big. Dutch farmers and sailors have always preferred the durable clogs, but the ingenious craftsman has something for even the lady of fashion. To make everything perfect, the award for the best clogs was won by a Mr. Clog. Perhaps he could give this poor visitor a few tips on how to use them. <laughs> 